now there is many uh, type of uh, procedures and uh, surgeries to treat hemorrhoid. And I do believe that uh, there isn't a procedure which is the right one for everyone. So basically, uh, what is the right procedure depends on the patient, depends on the uh, hemorrhoid uh, disease, and is really uh, down to um, uh, the consultation and trying to understand on the consultation what are uh, the priorities. Um, do uh, you want something which is not invasive and maybe takes few sessions, a uh, few visit uh, to be uh, done with minimal recovery time or uh, it's better to have a procedure uh, which will entail uh, maybe long recovery time but less visit to hospital. It's really down to uh, make a treatment plan and the time of the consultation that fits rightly the patient. Now, depending on the type of procedure, uh, there are procedures who are very simple and minimally invasive, who are not even surgery and have a good results on treating hemorrhoids. And that's are the use of low level electricity uh, or banding, which is done in clinic. And I would say that virtually this procedure has no really complication and the little that they can Consequences, complications are really, really minor. A bit of pain, a very slight bleeding, but that's normally resolved in 24, 48 hours. And after there are surgical procedures to treat hemorrhoids, like hemorrhoidectomy, uh, like mucopesy, like ligation of the arteries. Uh, and that's a require a bit of a longer recovery time and they're associated with possible complications complications like infection, bleeding, um, of course, the pain, but most importantly, a temporary incontinence, a window of fecal incontinence, which is up to 10%. Now, uh, in procedure uh, done in outpatients, the one that I would call office procedure, like banding, like uh, use of low level electricity, uh, a bit of uh, gel with an aesthetic inside like uh, Instilla gel or creams like Emla are more than enough uh, to make the procedure pain uh, free and for the procedure to be well tolerated. For other uh, surgical procedures, now, um, depending on the degree of a disease and, of course, the patient preference as well, um, a lot of them that can carry on under local anesthetic with injection on the area where we need to go and operate, uh, or they can be done under general anesthesia. The advantage of a local anesthesia is that um, we... Uh, I don't have to use anything which goes systemically uh, and is less invasive uh, than the general anesthesia, or whether the general anesthesia is safe, and the majority of the time patients who uh, need general anesthesia are able to go home on the same day and to uh, be fully recovered but from the general anesthesia by the day after in 24 hours. Uh, so if that has to be the uh, anesthetic is safe um, and doesn't need a patient to stay overnight. Now, depending on the procedure we are talking about, so if we do uh, bending or low level electricity, normally that takes between 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, other uh, procedures, surgical, the one that I call surgical procedure, like ligation of the artery, hemorrhoidectomy, um, or mucopacy, they normally take around half an hour to 45 minutes. Of course, it depends on 
the degree of a hemorrhoids as well, if hemorrhoids are very large, are there for a long period of time, and there is associated to that a lot of redundant tissue, it can take a bit more than half an hour, maybe towards an hour, for smaller isolated uh, uh, hemorrhoid disease, even sometimes uh, less. The recovery time depends a lot of the type of a procedure that is carried on. Uh, the use of low-level electricity, uh, banding, uh, the outpatient procedure virtually do not need any recovery time because they don't cause, uh, there is no wound and um, they normally don't cause uh, pain or the inflammation of the tissues. Other surgical procedure like hemorrhoidectomy, mucopacity, ligation, uh, they will need uh, a period to recover. Uh, hemorrhoidectomy is uh, by far the procedure requires the longer period to recover, up to six weeks. And can the post-operative period can be uh, um, uh, quite painful. There is less pain uh, in procedure like uh, uh, mucopacy or ligation of the uh, hemorrhoidal, hemorrhoidal artery, um, where normally the pain after the first week, 10 days, tends to disappear. Now, uh, we discuss about the recovery time, about the pain. So, but I want again stress about pain is one of uh, the main uh, things that after surgical procedure, the patient is experiencing. So pain, um, a temporary uh, in one out of 10 patients, incontinence to winds and sometimes stools, which normally uh, self-resolve uh, within the first few days, a few uh, weeks. Now, once the acute phase is over, there is the chance that the hemorrhoids can come back. Uh, and that really depends on uh, the lifestyle, a lot on the lifestyle, because hemorrhoids tends to come together with uh, slow bowel transit, constipations, uh, poor fluid intake. Therefore, it's very important then when someone goes for a hemorrhoid treatment, this type of uh, aspect of uh, uh, general well-being, general health habits are addressed to trying to prevent the, the um, to trying to prevent the recurrence. 